Today I'd like to describe for you the many features and benefits of our landscape rake for mini loaders. The raking system consists of 11 tooth bars that are bolted to two heavy duty chains. These are the same type and size of chains that we use in our full size skid steer landscape rake. The tooth bars are 46 inches long and made up of one inch by two inch rectangle tubing. They have 28 teeth welded to them. The tooth bars are bolted to two heavy duty chains. This enables you to unbolt the tooth bars and flip them around for twice the lifespan. The back side of the hood has visibility holes cut in it so that as you stand in the operator station, you can have good visibility into the bucket to see how full it is. The overall width of this landscape rake, including the motor, is approximately 56 inches. The weight is approximately 680 pounds. The tooth spacing on each tooth bar is approximately 1.5 inches. This gives you the ability to rake material down to at least one inch in size. You can also rake material up to about the size of a softball. The bucket is built very heavy to stand up to the rigors of everyday use. The frame consists of on the back side square tubing. This gives a very strong backbone to the back of the bucket itself. The bottom of the bucket has two skid plates welded to it that double as reinforcement for the bucket. The hood has skid shoes bolted on both sides, which are typical for landscape rakes. They have three adjustment holes in them, and this allows you to customize the amount of down pressure you have on the hood and therefore the tooth bars. This will allow you to really dial in how much sifting action you get with the dirt and the material you're trying to sort. For the drive system on this landscape rake, we wanted to keep it simple and lightweight. Therefore, we used a direct drive Eaton 2000 series motor to drive the two chains. This eliminates a drive chain that we have on some typical landscape rakes out there. It also simplifies the overall size and shape of the design. The motor is sized to properly turn the tooth bars at approximately 125 RPM at 13 gallons a minute. In keeping with our simplistic design, we utilize a pivot point between the hood and the bucket. This eliminates the need for a valve block and extra cylinder. To empty the bucket, all you need to do is raise up and dump the bucket like you would a normal dirt bucket. Be sure to check back as we make more videos like this. As always, give us a call or check out our website if you have any questions.